Top 15 Cactus Plants Keep Cactus as Indoor Plant Beginner Friendly Cactus House Plant Hello and welcome my friends. Hope you are well. Now you are watching your favorite YouTube channel, Gardener's Gardening. Today, I am feeling excited to share with you some best cactus, which you can grow at your home. If your choice is little bit different than the usual ones, you have to buy some new cactus in your garden, to give a complete different look. With the proper care, these desert native plants can be happy to grow at your home. Actually it needs little care and sometimes tolerates negligence also. They can lie for decades, so the lazy gardeners must bring some cactus and decorate their home with cactus. Cactus comes in different shapes and sizes, and some blooms brightly colored flowers too. Find out your favorite cactus from my list to dress up your indoor as they fit in any interior design style. Only keep in mind that, they need lot of sunlight. Cactus prefers rocky sandy and well-drained soil. So, let us start the video. Number 1, Christmas Cactus. It prefers humid climate and require more watering than other types of cactus. It gives you bright pink flowers in late winter, year after year. It is very nice to see tubular flowers, which comes in red, pink, orange and white. It is a spine-free, segmented stems, and best for beginner growers for indoor. It can be an excellent hanging plant, as it can adapt low light environment, but blooms in more light. Easter cactus give flowers during March and April. It has rounded leaves and soft hairs. Thanksgiving cactus has flattened leaves with pointed or spiked margin. Number 2. Star Cactus It is also called Sand Dollar Cactus, or Starfish Cactus, or Sea Urchin Cactus. Its yellowish-white large flowers makes it the prettiest cactus for the indoor, identified by its round body, that sectioned in 8 slices, it is covered with tiny white dots. Number 3. Feather Cactus The white feathers-like structure on this cactus looks as soft and fluffy bowl, but do not touch it, as it is camouflage. There are sharp spines that covers the surface. Number 4. Old Lady Cactus It is a beginner-friendly option, very easy to grow. A globe-shaped powder puff-like structure, actually is covered with spines. White ball-like structure gives lovely pink, reddish-purple flowers, like a crown top of the head with white hair, as they grow in a circle around the top of the cactus. Always keep them in large ceramic container with white stones. It looks stunning. Number 5. Bunny Ear Cactus or Angel Wing Cactus or Polka Dot Cactus. It is very popular for its shape. It has no such spine like other cactus, but the glotchids, which appear like polka dot, can stick you if you touch them. Its two pads looks like bunny ears or rabbit ears. It grows up to 2 to 3 feet. They are the member of the prickly pear family. It loves hot, dry, sunny condition, like desert. So, best to keep them at southwest window. Number 6. Moon Cactus It is the most favorite choice for every cactus lovers for their bright color. It is just an explosion of colors, like a bulbous sun sitting on a stem. It comes in red, orange and yellow colors. Number 7. Strawberry Cactus if you live in hot dry climate, strawberry cactus can be a great addition to your garden. It grows in clumps of small spiky stems. It is also called hedgehog cactus. Each cluster stem contains around 20 balls. It blooms in late spring and produces stunning magenta flowers and reddish purple edible fruits. Spines also comes in different colors like white, gray, yellow and brown. Number 8. Lady Finger Cactus It is also called Gold Lace Cactus. It blooms with fantastic white flowers. It looks like hand with many fingers. Number 9. Parodia or Balloon Cactus It requires less light but more water. So, very different from other cactus. Its ball-shaped structure and beautiful large flowers gives a character to it. Balloon cactus has a large rib-like ridges with rows of yellow spines on the edges, and a yellow flower blooms on the top of the cactus. Number 10. Bishop's Cap Cactus 
You will be surprised to see this cactus. It looks exactly to the bishop's cap. Its green body and yellow flower gives it an awesome look. It requires little water and space and very less care. It can handle partial shade. There are long spikes at the edges of the stem. It has a frosty white coating that protects them from sun. Number 11, Fairy Castle Cactus. The stems looks just like castle. It grows slowly and produces flowers very rare. It needs plenty of direct sunlight. It blooms greenish white flowers. It is a popular ornamental house plant. Number 12, Barrel Cactus. It is funnily called as mother-in-law cushion. It needs water once in every 2 to 3 months but plenty of sunlight. Its barrel or circular shaped body covered with long rigid spines. Therefore, handle with care. It can lie for many decades. Number 13, African milk tree cactus. Take care when you handle this. The sap can cause skin irritation. It needs less water and plenty of sunlight. This tall, narrow, bright green cactus is very easy to take care. Small green leaves grow between thorns on the stems. If you have rubra variety, the leaves are reddish purple in color. It lives many decades. It grows very fast. Number 14, blue columnar cactus. It is a fast growing cactus. When it gets mature, it blooms funnel shaped flowers. Very unique blue tall cactus can grow over 30 feet in outdoor, won't get that tall indoor. Number 15, Saguaro cactus. It is a classic example of cactus. Though it is a native from Sonoran Desert, but it is possible to grow them indoor. It can live to 100 years and have a very slow growth rate, about 1 inch per year for the first 8 years of its life. It takes 40 years to give flowers. It can grow up to 40 feet at desert and arms reach up to the sky. Arms have sharp hard spines. You can also buy life saver cactus, rat tail cactus, chin cactus, silver ball cactus, pin cushion cactus, totem pole cactus, dutchman spike cactus, or queen of the night, snowball cactus, peanut cactus. These trendy cactus are becoming famous for home decor to portray that mother nature is so creative that she can grow flowers spiny skin. Gardeners can propagate cactus when they produce of shoots or pups from the base on the stems or pads. They share water and nutrients from mother plant. So, propagation contributes to health of the mother plant along with the replicate of the plant. To keep cactus healthy, do not overwater it and do not use any chemical fertilizer to it. Your less care keeps them better than pampering too much. They create a unique, stark beauty which make a statement piece to bright up any room. So, grow cactus in open mind and smile face. You will get success as they are hardy in nature. If you got some benefit from this video, then subscribe my channel and press the bell button along with this. See you soon in my upcoming more interesting videos. Keep on searching my other videos in description box. God bless you. Thanks for your time.